Brooklyn Independent Television. These days, it's tough to peel people away from their screens. TV, laptop, Xbox, iPhone, etc., etc. How do you compete with all those rectangles filled with sound and motion? Well, as Sector B's Fred Brown found out, maybe with a different kind of rectangle, where the only action comes when you finally decide where you're going to move that little plastic piece to next. But can someone really make a living at this? Meet 15-year-old Jasmine and 10-year-old Malik. They are serious competitive chess players, and they're really happy to have a place in Brooklyn where they can practice every day after school. And this is Christian, one of the co-owners of the New York Chess and Game Shop, which opened its doors on Dean and Flatbush Avenue about a year ago. This former NTA employee and his silent partner quit their stable jobs to strike out on their own by opening this chess shop in Brooklyn. So after crunching the numbers and finalizing their business plan, they took the dive with hopes that Brooklyn's chess-loving population would come running through their doors. So, did it happen? Well, not right away, according to Christian. Okay, the first year, we were open from 11 to 11. Because my idea was, if it's $45 an hour Revenue. for 11 hours, <laughs> we're okay. You can pay the rent. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the funniest thing happened, Fred. You know what happened. What happened? They didn't come. Wow. So what we did was we said, maybe we didn't have mm. the right idea completely. So I sat down and I said, let me marry what it is that we do what we have available to what I know there is an overwhelming demand for. And one of the things there is a demand for is quality child care. The other thing that there's an overwhelming demand for is improving like personal development. All parents want their kids to have the best opportunities to be successful at life. Ready? Three, two, one. So we put our plans together, wow. we sent out the emails, we called people, and they came wow. and are coming, and, and we're so happy. And apparently they came in droves. A year later, we stopped by on a crowded weeknight and saw kids and parents everywhere, on game tables, in the basement, playing video chess software, and the moms took a much needed break from being moms. He actually spotted it on the bus, and from then on, he's been coming. He loves it. It gives him something to do, and it helps also with school. It helps with concentration. So I love that this place is here. I take the bus over here, and I really, really love chess. So I come here pretty much every day, and then I just go home. It's my mom right there. I've been coming for about one year, and like, oh, like playing against everybody, and like, it's such a thrill. Got more advanced at chess. Well, chess helps you think, and it doesn't. It's not like just you're making moves and forgetting about them. You're trying to win. It's kind of like a sport. Not only that chess is a game. Uh, but it's also part of life. It's like, a, it's like you're a chess piece in the real world. I mean, my daughter comes here. She's been coming here since over the summer. And at her school, they actually do have after school chess, but it's predominantly boys. And I was very pleased to come here and not only see little girls playing, but also some of the instructors, some of the older girls who are really, really smart and really, really good at chess, also assisting and helping um, the little ones learn. I know that you can find a lot of chess shops in Manhattan, but to find something in Brooklyn makes it very easy to say, you know, I want to drop in, I want to play a game, not just of chess, but of Monopoly and all the traditional games that a lot of people have gotten away from. I would say that absolutely, this is a successful business model, not only because it meets a need, but because it's offering impeccable service 
and fostering enrichment and empowerment in the children and the youth population of our community. I have 30 seconds and they have five minutes to see if I can beat them. I don't think I can beat her anymore. As far as the future is concerned, as long as they continue to make all the right moves, it looks like this chess shop will have a home in Brooklyn for years to come. Reporting for Sector B, I'm Fred Brown. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.